Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I am back. I feel like I ought to share this warning that God gave to Eric Hale. Eric D. Hale. Oh, wow. That's not... Okay, there we go. It got put in uh, my signal. All right. Now, I want you to... Uh, you don't need to see me. If I bend the thing back and you don't see me, it's all right. This is Visions and Dreams from God the Father. And Eric D. Hale put it, uh, it's probably on his channel on YouTube, I imagine. I don't know, she might have got it off his website. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll read it the best I can because there's not proper pun uh, punctuation. Okay, so he starts with saying Isaiah 15, verse 4 The armed soldiers. I seen in a country they were Latin descent. In two places, I seen them this way in Mexico and Spain. They were escorting people from a very, 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 I mean, very huge volcano eruption of biblical proportions. Psalm 18, verse 11. Thick clouds in the skies. It was so much ash and fire everywhere. There, it should say there was, but anyway. I could see people running away from this mountain, looking back at it in complete terror and shock. I saw something very similar, similar happen to a city near a mountain in Guatemala in, dream, in a dream before. Then I heard God say, Mexico volcano, earthquake and tsunami Mexico now um, people was mocking in a dream saying God won't do that to the USA God will not do that to Washington DC God bless America they said I stood over this nation and said the blessings of God and the protection has left God doesn't bless this wicked land. It is cursed with every curse in Deuteronomy 28, verses 15 through 68. There's a Bible study for you. Read all the curses that God cursed, would curse people with if they didn't obey Him. Thus says the Lord from the moment forward, since you don't heed the voice of the Lord no more. She shall never know peace again on earth and in space. Then a massive earthquake hit Washington, D.C. This earthquake was so shocking everybody could not understand. How did this happen? Nobody could understand and were saying, how did this happen? They kept asking me, Eric, I thought God loved America. I said, God's wrath has been added to According to the abundance we were given. Yep, we were abundantly blessed and now we're being uh, abundantly punished. But remember what I've taught already, if you have, if you've caught it, we're, we're not to fear. Per, uh, perfect love casts out fear. You just be ready to go, whether you're going to be taken in, in a barley harvest or through death. Or you survive and you go on to the second rapture, which is the wheat harvest. All right, I did a message on that. Someone got another message that clarified what I heard about barley harvest, wheat harvest, and the grape harvest. Those are martyrs. All right. Where was I? Verse 7. In the measure that she glorified herself and lived luxuriously, in the same measure, give her torment and sorrow. The degree of judgment for the wicked land will exceed the sin level it reaches to the heavens. I see Michael, the angel of the Lord, strike this nation very bad. As soon as God said, strike, strike, strike the judgments. He, as soon as God said, strike, strike, strike. The judgments hit with terror. The buildings were collapsing violently. 
Watch the animals. They will let you know that we are in the days of Noah. Yeah, they act differently, don't they? Even animals in nature. I'm not sure about domesticated animals. The plague of the mega quakes and tsunamis are next. In the words of Jesus, Luke 10 verse 13, Woe to the impenitent cities globally. And that's the end of this message and Sarah added here. It, whoa, whoa, whoa. My mouse is going crazy. Eric D. Hale, right there. All right. Thank you, Sarah, for posting that. All right, so I'm going to end this here, and I say I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. And those who hear it and share it, I always plead.